Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So we all know that the versus battle between Dipset and The Locks was a battle for the ages. It had New York City's Madison Square Garden snatching bandanas and popping bottles. And while Jadakiss emerged as the nice solo MVP, hip-hop fans overwhelmingly gave the New York rap crown to The Locks. Fat Joe, who was one of the famous faces in the audience, couldn't contain his enthusiasm. On Thursday, August 5th, Fat Joe took his thoughts to Instagram Live where he admitted he almost had a Little Mama moment. And for those who don't remember, Little Mama crashed the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards stage and interrupted Jay-Z and Alicia Keys, who were speaking at the time, much like Kanye West did to Taylor Swift. Welcome to New York City, Fat Joe says with a giant painting, a big pun looking over him. I'm giving you, I think Wendy Williams and them call it the T. Cameron was on his way out the building, not being scared. For some reason, he wasn't with it. He was about to leave Madison Square Garden. That's a Jopra moment. You ain't hear that nowhere. Cameron was on his way out. Michael Buffer, he hears him announcing him and this and this and that. He has a change of mind. He turns back around. And so Killer comes out. And so you know we Killer? Killer's Harlem. He in there icy as shit. Fly D-boy suit. His man Purple, Purple City Gang brings out the motherfucking um, beach chair. Puts it up in there. Killer. He, the nigga, he did the test. See, Fat Joe's a fat guy. I've broken many of beds. So I know before I co-sign a bed, I make people jump up and down on the shit before I break it. Because I don't want to feel like a fat f***. So Jadakiss wasn't the only trending Twitter topic that evening. Fat Joe's name also started making the rounds on social media due to his indecision over his mask. Basically, he couldn't decide whether to keep it on or rip it off. As the Delta variant of COVID-19 continues its ramage, Joe was trying his best to be safe, but was evidently too hyped to keep it on for a long period of time. The locks came ready to battle, kicking things off with their features on Nori's ban from TV and DMX's done started something. Although Jim Jones and Cameron were armed with Bird Gang money and Get 'em Girls, Jada Kiss and his crew continued the lyrical slaughter for the remainder of the event. Jada Kiss even called out Dipset for not knowing their rhymes before launching into his Who Shot Your Freestyle. And also, apparently, the battle was so good, it had Fat Joe smashing White Castle burgers for the first time in eight years. But I would have liked to see what Fat Joe would have done if he got up on stage. It could have been very meme worthy, you know? But what do you think about this? Do you think Fat Joe should have got up on stage and did his little mama moment? Or did he do the right thing and stay in the crowd? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And be sure to subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to HipHopDX.com.